Hello, ladies and gentlemen. That video, we just took a trip to Walmart, and I've been reading on the beer boards that there's this pack out there that Walmart makes, and they're posing it as craft beer. So, I uh, pulled the plug and bought it. Uh, it's called a pack of trouble, and let's see what's inside. like freezer or fridge mate thing to open it up for the true alcoholic. So inside you get the after party pale ale. And again these guys are posing as troublesome brewing. Uh, it's Walmart making craft beer. Uh, the red flag amber. Uh, it's a ale brewed with honey. Dig some more in here. What else we got here? We got the round midnight Belgian white. Or a wheat ale. And finally, you have the Cats Away IPA. Ooh, that's extra catchy. So this one's 5.9% ABV. Let's see what the other ones are. The uh, Belgian White's a 5.4. The Red Flag Amber is a 4.5 ABV. And then the Pale Ale is a 5.3 ABV. Do we have any viewers? Yes, you have eight. Eight viewers. So if you would, please tell me which one you'd like me to try, and I'll give you somewhat of a review on it. So again, we've got an IPA, an amber, a Belgian white, and a pale ale. I don't know if anybody's... Uh... Well, give him a second. <clears throat> Vote on the board, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Which one would you like me to try? Out of the... I'm still a little delayed. Walmart craft beer pack. Phil says uh, Cats Away. Cats Away IPA. Well, that's what it's going to be then, ladies and gentlemen. So, again, <laughs> trouble brewing. Josh Hall said drink the cat piss one. Cat piss? Well, shit, we'll do them both. How about that? Let's see what we got here with the IPA first. Yeah, Mike voted IPA. Chris voted the Amber. Sarah voted Belgian White. And Michael Corey voted uh, Pale. Good Lord, you guys are going to have me try all four, aren't you? Well, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. There's the Cats Away. There's the Cat's Piss IPA. Um, actually, doesn't look too bad. Our cat is meowing in the background. Really grassy nose to it, so I'm guessing a lot of Cascade and Chinook and that sort of thing, as far as hot variety in there. My dog is drinking his water right now. I mean, it doesn't really taste like anything. It just kind of tastes like light beer with some hop addition to it that's kind of real slight. Nothing real special there. Um, let me grab another glass real quick. I didn't realize we were going to do. Come follow me. I'm follow sorry, me. sorry, sorry. Follow me through the whimsical world of Papa Ha. It's kind of getting blurry. Alright. One, two, three. So we'll do all four. He's the perfect sound effects. The whimsical world of Papa Ha. And we have the cat meowing and dog drinking water. Yeah, just to give you guys a little heads up, we're at home, so you're at the Papa Hop compound at the moment. Um, how about the amber? We'll do the amber next. So, red flag amber, supposed to be brewed with honey, we'll see what happens here. Mm. Wee bit foamy on that one, ladies and gentlemen. Got a nice biscuity multi nose to it. It's got a uh, artificial sweet kind of sweetener taste to it. It's kind of lit. Mm. I don't really like that one too much. I'm not taking a sweet with it anyway. Yeah, Josh said I'm betting you don't taste any honey. Mm -mm. No, it's definitely got a sweet note to it, but it doesn't taste real. It's really artificial. So that is the amber. Amber, right PA, and we'll go with the pale next, so the pale ale, this is the after party pale ale, 5.3% ABV on this one. Sorry. Yeah, alright. We've been shaking up, ladies and gents. Again, really super, super foamy, look at that stuff, I mean, I don't know if it's been shaking up or what. That one's not too bad. 
It's got a real uh, strong bitter bitterness factor, like overly. In pale ales, I like a uh, nice balance between the bitter and the malt. And that one's kind of not bad though. So that is the pale ale, and then we have finally have the Round Midnight Belgian White or Wit. Uh, 5.4% ABV on this one. It's a nice pour, LOL. Yeah, it's a nice pour, but still, I mean, it's not too bad. <clears throat> Chris says, um, did that come refrigerated? And yes, it did. Yes, it, it did. Yes, it was in the, uh, I'd heard, uh, rumors at, uh, Walmart from one of the, the distributors that, uh, Walmart was no longer going to be carrying craft beer, so I'm guessing they're just taking all of the craft beer out of their shelves and sticking this in there, and that's going to have to suit people when they go to Walmart. Let's see. I'm not a big uh, wheat guy. That one's super approachable. It's not... Um, you know, it doesn't have that, a lot of these wheat beers get a bit soapy, and that one does, doesn't have that. I could definitely, uh, I think that's probably my favorite out of the bunch. That's kind of funny, because I really don't like wheat beer. So there you are, ladies and gents. The Pack of Trouble. What I would rate it, for Walmart, I mean, out of a five-star rating, I'd give, uh, them all about a two and a half, maybe a three, if they're, uh, you know, on a good day. So there you are. Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend, their Labor Day weekend. Hope everybody has a good one, have a safe one. And, uh, again, tomorrow we got the shitty beer review Sunday, and I've got something special. It's going to be a super funny episode. So tune into that. That will probably be around five, six-ish. Six-ish, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, everybody have a good weekend. Have a safe one. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.